We're on Friday morning, and we're on the radio to talk about our past in a program we call The Archives. This is Henry Royce. I'm joined by Mr. Sam Terry, a well-known historian, a guy who knows a whole lot about history and never quits learning history, do you? Oh, you've got to always keep learning. And, you, and you're good at sharing it, for sure. So why don't we get over here and uh, roll after a mo? I mean, if we didn't have any history today, we would have had a full week because we've had some great things already this week. Yes, we have. But uh, not to be outdone, we're going to start 100 years ago with a fascinating story. Another one we can uh, ponder on here. It was 100 years ago today, the Glasgow Times reports that Elder John L. Parker is going to preach in the courthouse on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. The theme is going to be Quote, if I were the devil, what I would do in Glasgow, unquote. And it's for adults only, Sam, and it's free admission. My goodness. So <laughs> let's try to draw some conclusions right here. It's adults only. If I were the devil, what would I do in Glasgow? And I'm sh- who wouldn't want to go I, and find I out? I would say it was a packed house. It would have to be for sure <laughs> in 19 and 24. Uh, Elder John L. Parker. I'm not sure was he associated with a particular uh, church here. You think, or just? Uh, I, I assume that he was possibly uh, a, a traveling okay. evangelist. All right. Okay. Well, I would I would definitely have to go for that one. The Glasgow Republican in 1934, Sam, is reporting that coming up on September the first or thereabouts is a set deadline for procurement of a driver's license at 50 cents a throw. Circuit Clerk Ross Settles is allowed a fee of 15 cents each for issuing the license. Everybody who drives a car, whether or not he owns it, is required to have a license. And more than 5,000 are expected to be issued in Barron County. Now, that's an interesting thought. 1934, we didn't have many many, uh, vehicles around here. And, hey, we're trying to look. Whether it's your car or somebody else's car, you have to have a license to to drive. Uh, probably people had a little trouble getting used to that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't think twice about it no, today, No, we don't. <laughs> 1944, we learned in the Glasgow Times about some special feature films during the month of August to mark the 10th anniversary of the Plaza Theater here. Citizens of Glasgow take pleasure in congratulating manager Bruce Aspley on this occasion. For in 10 years of existence of the Plaza, it has proven itself to be a real and vital part of this community. That is a true statement for 1944, for sure. It is, and, and I believe that means that uh, we're celebrating the 90th anniversary next month. That's right, and it's a, you know think about how competitive with two movie theaters, you know, in what a mm-hmm. block apart, how competitive that was. They were making a difference. All right, this is 1954. We learned about Jimmy Simmons, Billy Moran. Jimmy Miller and Joe Dickinson, members of the Boy Scouts Troop Number 214, left Thursday for a trip in the New England states and to Canada. How much fun would that be? <laughs> I bet it was. Well, yeah, that's right. They just probably went and had the best of times there, and why not get it done while you're young? Let's look at 1964, Sam. We learned in the Glasgow Times about the Kentucky Telephone Company has notified its Park City subscribers of a change in the dialing procedure. Now get this. You think you think you were confused if you had to have a license whether or not you own the car. Well, here we are, effective midnight, July the 17th of 1964. The subscribers in Park City will need to dial all seven digits. <laughs> all right? Can you re- can you get that straight? I can. You, you know, you had to that's how you going to remember seven digits, yes. Will? You had to if you're going to dial anybody there in Park City. I, I remember doing that many times. <laughs> 1974, we learn in the archives in the Glasgow Times about Dr. John Marsh, a native of Gamalia, has opened up his practice in general surgery in Glasgow this month in the offices of Dr. J. Fred Cecil on Glenview Drive. Dr. Marsh, quite the surgeon, Helped out a whole lot of people and a really nice guy, too. Great part of our community. That's right. This was the day in 1984 we learned in the Glasgow Times that Bob Reese was named the Glasgow Middle School Principal, an excellent educator. He falls under the category that we talk about sometimes of people who were done too soon. We lost Bob too soon. 
but uh, not before he influenced a whole lot of youngsters mm -hmm. and changed the lives of a whole lot of youngsters too in the in the type of a school administrator and just a general good person that he had happened to be, Sam. Let's uh, get over here to 1994. We're looking at the uh, Glasgow Times. Big news for a tourist attraction around here. The Corvette Museum is going to open on September the 2nd in Bowling Green. Yes, the Corvette Museum. Pre-sinkhole damage. Yes. But, uh, but famous for a lot more reasons than it, that. It, it was a, a huge celebration when that opened. And uh, uh, you may recall I-65 uh, dedicating a whole lane yeah. in both directions mm -hmm. to the exit there at the Corvette Museum for all of the Corvette enthusiasts coming to South Central Kentucky for that celebration. It's a it's a huge celebration and continues to be. People I hear all the time about people who are they come here. There's a program you can have your new Corvette built and then come down here and drive it off of the assembly line. And they have these folks that kind of uh, give you all the the tour of all the features. It's a really wonderful part of our community. We've had uh, a lot of school appointments here in the archives. This was a big one in 2004. This was the day in 2004, 20 years ago today, that Bo Matthews was named Barron County Schools Director of Pupil Personnel. That's right. He became the DPP in 2004, and he just retired uh, in the top spot of superintendent and did a good job at all of those particular positions, Sam. And let's keep going at Barron County Schools. This was the day in 2014 that Warren Cunningham was selected to lead as the principal of Barron County's Trojan Academy, another excellent administrator mm -hmm. uh, in the Barron County system. So we've had really, really tremendous uh, leaders in our school systems, and we get to talk about when they come on board here in the program we call the Archives. Thanks to all the folks who do all the digging, we are looking forward to uh, uh, sharing more of the history uh, on the, on next week, on Monday, I guess it'll be. Sam, anything big you want to talk about going into the weekend? Uh, no, not that I can think of, but it's certainly been a big week in the archives again this week. I bet we can repeat that next week, you think? We'll certainly try. Join us here on the archives on WCLU.